what's really happening with the reactors why are people so scared and how are they saying this is going to be much worse than what's already happened is that accurate the, the, what, what is much more serious is what they're now doing. Because what has happened is, as a result of the vast amounts of water that they've pumped into these things to keep them war, uh, cool, and they're still pumping into them to keep them cool, uh, the land around these reactors has become soggy. It's filled up with water, and water's getting into the Pacific, and the whole thing is like some sort of marsh. Now, the problem with that is that these reactors themselves are enormously heavy. And so they're going to sink into the marsh, and they're going to lose stability and possibly collapse. Now, if that happens... The main problem is reactor four, because there's a there, there's a, a tank there, as, a, as you know, uh, which contains about 1,300 plus spent fuel elements inside this tank, which have to be continually kept warm. The tank has to be kept full of water. And if the tank breaks, which it would do if it, if it slid, uh, slid sideways and, and, and lost its structural integrity, then these fuel rods will then catch fire and might even melt and explode, which, which is what I believed happened originally when there was the first explosion. Well, sure, you were the, proven right. I mean, mainline news admitted that they picked up the isotopes that meant that the, uh, what is it, fission had happened? Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Well, it's fissioning now all the time. I mean, the, the, we know there's fissioning there because these short, half-lived isotopes uh, are, are, are being detected. Sure, sure. Well, because they're measuring, because people are now measuring the radioacti uh, radioactivity, the radionuclides in the seawater on the coast, and they can't say that, and they have to admit it because that's the only place it can be coming from. So what they've done is, I think, probably invented this idea that these tanks are leaking, these enormous numbers of tanks that they've got there. You've seen the pictures. And so the only way that it can get to the sea within the, you know, having told all the lies that they've told, they've now got to continue to make up new lies in order to justify the original lies. Uh, and they're saying, well, these tanks are leaking. But, of course, they can't find any leaks in the tanks, but they're still looking. Of course, nothing to do with the tanks leaking. It's the fact that the whole area around is, is, is saturated with radionuclides as a result of the original explosions and the, and the, the bulldozing of the old fuel elements and the holes in, in the reactors and probably a sort of minor China syndrome, although it's not China. In fact, if you go to the other end of the earth, it's Buenos Aires, Argentina. So that's the Buenos Aires syndrome.